Questions? Most of the game, you were having trouble stopping Turner. He was getting down deep in the paint and McConnell out there. What changed those last four or five minutes of the game? Yeah, uh, well, McConnell hurt us with dribble penetration. Um, they got out and transitioned some. Uh, you know, we're going to have to do a lot better than we did tonight. The big thing was, you know, I thought the fourth quarter, we made some hustle plays uh, and then made some big shots that came off those hustle plays. And so I thought uh, OG triggered some things from the weak side. That, that was huge. The ball pressure, Dante, was great effort on the defensive end the whole night and the big three. Uh, but just finding a way to win at the end. You know, and obviously there's a lot for us to work on and clean up. Have you talked about doing the little things, you know, and Dante with five fouls to draw that charge there in the final seconds? Just kind of yeah, and just at, at the bottom line is this, is just whatever we have to do at the end, find a way to win. And so whether it's taking a charge, diving on the floor, coming up with a loose ball, getting a deflection, getting a block shot, then pushing it up the floor, um, you know, and obviously the, you know, it was a choppy game for us, so we got we to gotta clean things up. You've been, um, I mean, you said it, finding a way to win. You guys have been pretty damn good at that in the playoffs so far. What is it about this team? That I just think the way they work, they, they've invested a lot into the season, and they put a lot into each and every day. So I think when you make that commitment to each other, you're not going to give in. You're going to keep fighting, and that's there's great fight, and we know – we're, we're shorthanded, so that's our way. Our way is by we have to play real hard. You, you, you keep rolling, Josh, out there. You're joking about number something now. What, what is it specifically that gives you – because not everybody is physically capable of playing. So what is it that gives you the confidence to be able to know that he's still going to be himself? No. Well, I t you know, uh, I, I'm communicating with him during the game. If he needs to come out, he'll come out. Uh, right now we're shorthanded. That gives us our best chance of winning. So if that means, you know, we'll cut back in practice, we'll cut, it, cut back in practice. Um, but he'll do a good job of getting himself ready, his recovery. And then, you know, out there we just find a way to win. So if a guy has to play more minutes, play more minutes. You know. What's it say about the condition that he's in, that he's still able to get those offenses? You know, I, I told him playing for Team USA would be beneficial. So he came into camp in great shape. Five questions and not mentioned. Tom, we, we got five questions and we haven't mentioned Jalen scoring for you. Oh, Jalen, yeah, Jalen. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's that's what you love about Jalen. It's just you know, I mean, I you could go on and on every night. And the thing I love about him is he's all about the team. So he, he, all he cares about is winning, and he cares about his teammates. And so I think when that happens, I mean. He's in the end. What 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 do we need? Do we need a big bucket? Do we need whatever it is that we need? He'll provide. But I think you could, the same could be said for all the guys that, you know, those some of those rebounds that Josh came up with were incredible plays. You know, so. Can you put a perspective uh, Jalen's four straight forty plus games in, in the in the playoffs? Yeah, just you know, and it's I think. You know, when you look at his entire season, it's that's what it is. And he knows, like, with our team, that, and our, his teammates do a good job with him, too. He's getting double teamed. They're getting, getting the ball, he, ball out of his hands. But they're do, doing a lot of things to create shots for him, too. So I think if he gets off the ball, there'll be a second and third, you know, effort to keep him moving and going. But I think... Because of the way he is and the way the other guys are, Josh and Dante and Isaiah, you know, Mitch has given us everything he has. Uh, the, and they're a team. They function as a team. And I think when you do that, good things come from that. Coach, obviously Indiana wants to play fast. They got you with some cross matches, getting the ball out the basket. Like, what adjustments can you make? On yeah, that? you know, and that's the challenge, just to make sure the basket's protected. You know, I like the fact that I thought we had some good fast break opportunities as well. You know, I think we had 20 fast break points, and I think that's important for us. Isaiah hit one three all season, and then he hits that key at the half. Just how big of a boost that going into that? Yeah, you know, like, in, in, you know, these players, 
I think it's, you know, it doesn't surprise me, but it surprises you. It, I mean, wherever they shoot it from, they can make it. You know, and you see it all the time, whether it's half court, three quarter court, you know, oftentimes the misses right uh, back rim. You know, so, um, and you know, we had nothing going for us, and so that sort of you know gave us a little hope. You know, and so then we had a chance to regroup at the half and came out, and started the third third quarter pretty good, and uh, you know, and, and like I said, the fourth quarter was we did what we needed to do. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things that we got to do better. So we got to, you know, so you take take a look at the film, make your corrections, and be ready for the next game. It, the, I think a big part of your preparation and your mental toughness and uh, getting through things is always knowing that you can do better. So that's our challenge: is to take a look at everything. What do we have to fix, and let's fix it real fast. Okay. What about holding um, Halliburton only six points? What about the job Dante did? Yeah, I, you know, and like Halliburton, I, I say this all the time. He's he's a he's an offense unto himself, you know. And when you and then when you throw in Nemhart and McConnell, that, that's a lot in terms of their versatility. But he's you know he's pushing tempo the whole time, so he's impacting the game in a lot of different ways. And then, you know, he, he does, if you leave him open, he's going to make, if you're slow to pick him up, he's, he, he can make a three. So, you know, sometimes it's, you know, they miss good shots and you're fortunate. And so we, we know we're going to have to do a lot better. Coach, when you are shorthanded like this and you can have Josh out there for 48, Jalen and Dante for 44. What, what does it mean to this team just to be able to have guys that can run like that? For well, I think it's important. Uh, you, you do what you always put the team first. Whatever is necessary to help the team, that's what you got to do. And right now, that's where we are, and that's where we've been the entire season. We've been shorthanded the whole season. So, you know, and, and our, this team has the belief that they can win. So, just keep whatever you have, give it to the team, and that's what we're asking everyone to do. To go back to Jalen, he's the first player with 30 and 5 in five trade playoff games since LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, and Oscar Robertson. What does that mean? Uh, yeah, you just said it right there. It's a pretty elite company, you know, and so, it, and it's the, uh, it's the impact that it's having on us. They're not like empty stats. They're, they're, they're stats that are impacting winning, you know, so, and that's, and if he gets double team, he doesn't fight it, he, he gets off it. And then, you know, if, we, if he gets into the paint and they collapse or they overcommit, it also opens up second shot opportunities for us. So we want to take advantage of it that way. And we've, we've got some great guys at, at offensive rebounding who make a second and third effort so we can get shots that way as well. So, but, the, you know, just the overall, you know, the leadership of all those guys, uh, giving everything they have to the team and putting the team first says a lot about them. Oh, you know, like like I said, the the we were it was a choppy game from the start, and we really didn't fix our rebounding until the second half. So, and we got to and look, we got to keep going. That's that's what we have to do, and so, you know, like I said, we'll take a look at the film and we'll try to fix things. All right.